Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So in our BDD series, uh, we have uh, discussed about, in the previous lecture I mean, we discussed about how to write code within the step definition. Then we discussed about launching our first application using BDD Cucumber along with the JUnit runner. And then we interacted with UI wherein we logged into one application and later on uh, verified uh, in the dashboard content okay so in this session uh, we are going to discuss about reporting in cucumber so so far we haven't discussed much on the reporting part but in this session we are going to discuss about how to generate report in cucumber and what are the different type of reports supported by cucumber and how we can integrate third party report so there are some cucumber reports default reports and then we have uh, third party reports such as extent report and earlier report so we are going to incorporate extent report as well but it would be a low level discussion on extent report uh, so for low level and uh, uh, low level detail on extent report we will be creating a new series okay so now let me move to the uh, document wherein i have noted down what are the different type of reports supported by cucumber so these are some default report pretty is one report and monochrome is used in conjunction with pretty to give it more clarity then we have html report and then we have json kind of report we have jvnet report so these are some default report okay and later we have extent report which also we are going to discuss as part of this session okay so let me jump to the code so if you remember let me minimize this if you remember last time we were not using these line of code okay so we were no, not getting any kind of report we were not getting report here we were not getting report on the console as well but now what we want is we want more uh, like we want report so in order to generate report cucumber has provided one option cucumber option that is plugin okay wherein we need to provide the detail okay so i'm going to use first report that is pretty okay so when i will run um, so i have kept my scenario very short which is two line launching the url and then closing the browser so that we can uh, run multiple reports and uh, we can cover it in, a, in the minimum time okay so now the execution is taking place and uh, we will have one report printed here you can compare it with my previous uh, videos like we were not generating any kind of reports especially especially the previous video so user has known the url so this kind of details are now getting printed which was not getting printed earlier okay but this type of report is not going to help when we have a long suite of test cases for example we have uh, 100 test cases or so it is very difficult to verify coming here and verify okay then in conjunction with plugin what we can have we have one monochrome equal to true which is a supplement of this so now if i'll rerun that test case what it will do it will print the report in more clear clearer way right so let us see but actually it is going to make a difference right so it launched the url and it got closed so if you look at it so it has launched the url and it has provided these kind of details as well previously it was commented now it is in some readable format so this is what the monochrome is going to help this kind of report is not of much use uh, there are like multiple reports which we which we can use so we have html report okay so i'm now going to use html report as well okay so if you observe there is no report generated as such now i'm going to provide html report so for html report what we need to do we need to provide html as a uh, like tag and then after colon and this is the location where we want to get the html report so so far we are generating it in the target under target so i'm running it So if you will see new folder got generated under this, I'm now going to show you uh, the report. So you need to go to uh, right click on this, go to open and go to browser and you can now see this report. So if you will see, this is the report uh, which got printed, right? So given user has logged in, lost the URL and user has now closed, uh, closes the URL, uh, browser added, right? So this is how the HTML report gets printed. Similarly, we can use this JSON report we can use the unit report i'll be providing this list in the description now we need to generate the extent report as well which is a third party report 
so what we need to do first of all we need to provide this particular plugin right and we need to download one dependency as well this is the dependency which i'll be sharing in the description right so there is a cucumber adapter which is required to run this extent report so if i expand this maven you will see uh, this particular dependency tech grasshopper and under this this is com dot evans tech dot extent report okay and uh, in order to use cucumber reports uh, extent report i mean we need to provide two configuration as well so first one is extent properties wherein we have different type of reporters we have spark reporter json reporter pdf reporter this is what we are going to discuss in the later section right i'll be creating a separate series in the, on this right so right now we are using spark and we are now providing this extent config.xml using which we can provide some details which kind of report we are looking for we, we are looking for dark encoding type and protocol then what would be the document title and what would be the report okay so i'll be sharing these particular uh, uh, files as well which you need to provide under src test resources okay now uh, what is my next step i'm going to run it so far if you see you you don't have any extent report okay so now i'm going to run it and we will have one extent report out of it so let us see so if you will observe we have provided uh, uh, so this is this right here somewhere we would have provided the location as well so this is the spark out right that's why it is generating it under target extent report and test summary dot html right and now let me open uh, this extent report you will see that a report got generated right and uh, you will find more details when we will go deep dive into it so this is the pie graph and graph related things when it got started and all and this is about uh, like uh, the details of the test case right so this is ui test uh, automation test execution result which we provided in the config.xml right so yeah now you see that this particular test step got passed and this particular test step also got passed so in uh, the upcoming sessions when we'll be uh, like having this uh, framework ready then we will be discussing about various scenarios how to attach screenshot on failure in the extent report and that so that we are going to discuss so this is uh, it from uh, this session like uh, about report handling and how to generate reports in cucumber uh, and uh, this is pretty much uh, for this session i mean if you like the video please do like share and subscribe with others so that we reach the maximum people maximum audience and we can help the needful and thus uh, it helped me as well in growing thank you for your time have a good day bye